Time Timeout twin. <laughs> this is a lean guy. Watch He's out. never heard of this. Hold on. No, I, 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 I pop. What you say? What? <laughs> Good 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 Give us the yeah. I'm slinging hawks. Look here. Yeah. You want About to break, bitch, I can bite it tough. You know I know that boy ain't green like it's tough. Oh, oh, what you do? Anyway. Just chill. Look like the in this last year, I do have more appreciation for those who've been with me on this amazing ride, for always giving it to me straight, for not shooting anybody in the face. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. I don't even have a joke here. I just think Helen Mirren is awesome. And every year, the Washington Post laughs a little bit less hard. It's <laughs> kind of a silence there, <laughs> especially at the Washington Post table. Control the globe tactics, graphic displays, swing your swords like Shinobi. He's not going to build the wall. And if he does, then I'll apologize to him on that day. But he's not going to build that wall. And Mexico's not going to pay for it. And if he does, I will apologize on that day. So I am taking time out of my busy day to try to put to rest one of the more moronic things I have seen on the internet lately. And that's saying something. Through my Facebook feed, I saw yet again that old tired argument for that question. Jet fuel only burns at 1,500 degrees. And since steel melts at 2,700 degrees, 9-11 was a conspiracy. I am so sick and tired of this argument. 836, structural steel, designed for structures. This is a 250 pound anvil. I'm gonna put this steel in the back of this anvil and I'm going to lift this two. It's very hot, but not melted. Obviously it is not melted. I put this in the anvil, now watch this. I'm going to take my pinky finger, my pinky finger, half-inch solid steel. Check it out. It's a freaking noodle. That the special relationship between our countries has never been stronger. We deliver for our people through all the international groups that we're part of. We enhance our security through the membership of NATO. We further our prosperity through the G7.